We were all just witnesses of one of the most exciting trade deadlines ever for Major League Baseball. But it was also one of the worst trade deadlines I can remember because the Padres didn't do crap to make their team any better. There was a total of 26 trades on this trade deadline day and only one of them was made by the Padres. And it was for a fourth outfielder, maybe even a fifth outfielder, depending how you look at it. And yes, the trades for Frazier and Hudson were very nice additions. And Marisnik joining the team does mean, or I hope it means, that Mateo is gone. But I know every single Padres fan was expecting one big trade because that's what our Rockstar GM is known for. But nothing happened. And we were so close, so close to making that trade for Max Scherzer. Or were we? According to Prella himself, the Padres never even were close to acquiring the three-time Cy Young Award winner. He said that when the report came out Thursday afternoon, they hadn't heard back from the Nationals for about seven to eight hours. This leads me to believe that the story that the Padres were close to acquiring Max Scherzer was purposely given to a trustworthy source so that way the Nationals could jack up the asking price to other teams. Knowing that all the other teams would fear the idea of Max Scherzer joining the Padres, this would make everybody give their last final huge offer and it freaking worked. So props to that evil genius because whoever gave that information obviously didn't know anything they were talking about. The Dodgers ended up giving up a boatload to get Max Scherzer and Trey Turner. But you know what? I am not really scared about the Dodgers getting Scherzer. They have had a big three before and the Padres swept them earlier this year. So I kind of see Scherzer as just filling in for Trevor Bauer because I don't think he's coming back. The Padres actually have some decent success against Scherzer, unlike they did against Bauer. So maybe they're in a better situation than they were earlier in the year. What really concerns me was the Dodgers getting Trey Turner. That dude kills the Padres for whatever reason. Maybe he's still salty about getting traded just months after getting drafted by the team. But who knows? Yeah, the dude is good. And he's a potential MVP candidate this year. So that part of the deal really hurts. The Padres really did miss out on getting starting pitching. That was the one thing they truly needed this year. But when you look around at what the trade market was, it was really expensive to get a starting pitcher. It would have costed one of the top four prospects for even a rental pitcher who's probably a league average guy. And when asked about why Prello didn't trade for a starting pitcher, he said he knows the team needed starting pitching. But what they needed even more was for the guys that they already have in-house to step up. Blake Snell needs to be better. Chris Paddock needs to be better. They're both not expected to be aces, but they both have to be better than league average. And they're not even that. They're horrible right now. So having those guys step up would be better than anything you could have got at the trade deadline. And only getting one bullpen arm isn't the worst thing. Yeah, most of our guys are taxed, but I think you're going to see some of the Padres starting pitchers move into the bullpen. Denelson Lamette doesn't seem like he's going to be coming back in a starting job. I think he'll be a long relief pitcher, maybe go two or three innings at a time. Maybe he just moves into a one inning, who knows? And then Ryan Weathers is definitely on an innings limit considering he's only 21 years old. So I'm sure that dude will be in the bullpen at some point. I don't think they're just going to completely shut that dude down. I think they're going to move him to like a long relief pitcher. Anyways, bottom line, this trade deadline was crazy, but it sucked if you're a Padre fan. The Padres got suckered out of one of the best pitchers. They got outbid for everybody else, but there's no point in crying about it any more than I'm crying about it right now. Padres got to work with what they have if they want to win the World Series this year, and I think they still can do that. And quote me right now, if Jake Marisnik is on the playoff roster, he will have the go-ahead RBI in the wild card game this year because that's what the Padres are going to be in, and they're going to win it. That's the end of my rant. Thanks for coming to my Tiger Talk. Go Padres. Stay classy. Nah, 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 nah.